الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله نويت سنة الاعتكاف اللهم افتح لي أبواب رحمتك Amazing angel the prophet of mankind the peace of our hearts and mind the most generous and kind Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated Undoubtedly Allah Azza wa Jal has stationed an angel at my grave who has been granted the power of hearing the voices of all creatures Hence whosoever until the day of judgment recites durood upon me he i.e. the angel presents that person's name along with his father's name to me The angel says the so and so son of so and so person has recited salam upon you. So my dear Islam brothers, try to make it a habit at least to convey the drood and salam as we've learned today that the angel also gives this, this request of your drood park to Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fazani Sunnah, page 330. Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala and who has narrated that the Prophet of mankind The intercessor of Ummah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once advised him, O Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, when you are starving, survive on a piece of bread and a bowl of water and say, I distance myself from the world and its seekers. Sayyidina Abu Ayyub al-Sari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, a companion of the Prophet has narrated that a villager once approached the Holy Prophet ﷺ and asked him for some advice. The Holy Prophet ﷺ said, when you, offer, when you offer salah, offer it considering it the last salah of your life. So for those who have performed the Zuhr salah before leaving, this advice of the beloved Rasul ﷺ, this could be our last salah. We could die when we leave this masjid. We don't know when our death is written. So moving forward. And do not say any such thing due to which you would have to make an apology tomorrow. So don't hurt the feelings of any Muslim brother. Don't borrow any possessions of anybody. Because how will you pay it back if you're in the grave? Then write things down. If you borrowed anything, write it down. So at least your family members know if you die, then it can be paid back. And be disappointed with what people have. This is another advice that's been given. So dear Islamic brothers, do not depend on others' wealth. Even if the other person likes and admires you and has repeatedly offered financial help to you, don't pin any hopes on such assurance as they are. In fact, unreliable and false hopes because the heart and mind of such a person keeps changing. Remember that the one who gives can never be impressed by the one who takes. However, if someone comes to give you a financial gift and you refuse to accept it, the giver will certainly be impressed by you. Hajatul Islam, Sayyidina Imam Muhammad Ghazali, Rahmanullahu ta'ala alayhi has stated, the luxuries only last for a short while. Then they come to an end. Things will change in a few days. Be content in your life and you will remain pleased. Give up your desires and you will live a free life. Death often comes at the hands of robbers who come to rob gold, rubies and pearls. May Allah Azza wa Jal have mercy on him and forgive us without accountability for this sake. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
Inshallah, my dear brothers, today, obviously, is Saturday. And in the evening, around about 5.30 p.m., there will be a live viewing of Madini Muzakra. With the Mira Ahle Sunnah, Damat Barakatum Aliya. This is on Sky Channel 746, a temporary ch channel number. Or you can view it on your mobile phone, or you can watch it live stream on YouTube, or any of the Google searches. So try to make it a habit to learn the religious knowledge of Islam by watching uh, these programs. They are very beneficial. People ask questions and the questions get answered. And sometimes we feel we have many questions ourselves. And then questions when they are asked, that be our question. And you'd be amazed that you get a response uh, via the channel, inshallah, by Amir Ahle Sunnat. And Alhamdulillah, by you acting upon that knowledge, will make you a better person, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen, Jazallahu anna Muhammadan ma huwa ahlu. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, accept our Salat al-Zuhur, accept this short dars. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us enthusiasticness to follow the Sharia and the Sunnah of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Also give us the ability and the strength to recite durood and salam. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, today it is the Madhuri Muzakra. Give us the ability to participate in the Madhuri Muzakra and to watch Madhuri channel. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, and seek the Islamic knowledge. Ya Allah, give us true amal of the deen. Give us the nur of the Qur'an. Enlighten our hearts with the vision of Islam, the vision of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And also, Ya Allah, those who are ill and destitute, give them shifa. Ya Allah, accept the du'as of the majlis. Ya Allah, accept the du'as of our brother Tariq. Ya Allah, brother Naeem. Ya Allah, our brother uh, Qasim and many Islamic brothers who are participating in this Jamaat, Ya Allah accept this sincere dua and give them success. Amen. Ya Allah give our household success, our children give them death with Iman and give them the ability to perform this Salah. Ya Allah Azawajal, remove Pakistan from the red list. Ya Allah Azawajal, those who are stuck in Pakistan who want to return, Ya Allah Azawajal, grant them a wasila. Ya Allah give them the ability to return safely without any uh, occurrence of fees. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, bless Pakistan and give Pakistan a ruj and success. Mm -hmm. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.